Hey guys, welcome to Smart Trends. Today we're going to make a ginger onion dal recipe. Mmm, check it out. You can see all the great dal and onions in there. Mmm, it looks amazing. I know you guys want it, so let's start making it. Mmm, delicious. Time to start. So we're going to be adding one cup plus a half cup of tour dal. And then we're gonna add so, and then we're gonna add some water just to wash it up a little bit. We're just gonna wash it up nicely so that it's all nice and clean for us. Then we're gonna drain out the water and add three cups of drinking water to let it boil for a few minutes. And add some, and add enough green chilies to give you a delicious spicy taste in them. Mmm. Boil it until you hear two whistles. Now we're going to cut some onions. First take off the peel off. First peel it off and then cut them into big slices. Very big. <laughs> then you can see all those fresh onions and you're just going to wash them a little bit so that they're also nice and clean. Nobody wants dirty onions, do they? And so now here's our dog. It is perfectly cooked with spiciness. Mmm. You can see it all nice and boiled in there. And you feel like you just want to take it out and gobble it up. But too bad. Now it's time to prepare the ginger garlic onions. So you're gonna add three teaspoons of oil into a big pan, and you're gonna add one teaspoon of mustard seeds and a tea and a half teaspoon of mustard seeds and half teaspoon of jeera. And you're just gonna mix them up and let them fry a little bit. And then you're gonna add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and all your chopped onions in there. Wow, those are very big, aren't they? Well, you can see them all getting all nice and fried with a delish, with a nice yellow color. You're gonna add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. There you go, and mix it up. And you're gonna cook the onions in the ginger garlic paste, big name, for five minutes on low heat. Mmm, they look good. Nice and fried. We're gonna add our cooked doll into there dump into there and they look and it's all nicely mixed and you can see all of it getting blended in together it looks amazing so now don't go anywhere because the next thing we're gonna do well for the rest of the cooking thing we're just gonna stay here at the pan mixing it up and adding other ingredients mmm doesn't that look good we're gonna add three cups of water. It may look a little bit too liquidy at first, but if you let the water get all thick and boil mm, the food up a little bit more, it turns out really good. The onions also get a little bit sweeter too. So there it is. There's our three water and we're gonna cook it all in medium flame for about 10 minutes. Mm, you can see all those bubbles in there, boiling it up very hot. And it's almost ready. But can you see the water getting, getting nice and thick? It's helping all the dal and other ingredients in there boil super nicely. Mmm, it's so delicious. It's so good. Mmm. It still kind of looks a little bit liquidy, but that's okay. Because worth the weight or it's worth the liquidness <laughs> so now you can see it all getting all nice and mixed up mmm that looks good I'm gonna add it in mix it up and you can see all those onions and dal in there mmm that looks good just gonna keep mixing it up for a little while making sure all the ingredients are blended in there 
And from that bit of doll, you can see a few onions and maybe a chili too peeking out of there. But you can see it all boiled and nice. You can see how thick they are and how boiled. And they're so sweet. Well, the onions are, anyways. <laughs> well, here's the doll. It, it's been cooked to perfection. Delicious. Well, now that it's ready, it, you can still let it boil on the pan for a little while, just making it all nice and warm and hot and making sure it's all boiled to perfection. And you're going to also add a little bit of salt. I think a teaspoon would do. And doesn't it look amazing? Mm. Well, if your dal is cooked, start mixing it into some rice or other and other meals and start to enjoy it looks absolutely amazing doesn't it i know you guys don't want to go into the, all the trouble of waiting for it and you just feel like you want to pluck it out of the screen and eat it but trust me it's worth the wait so here is our perfectly cooked dal you're also going to add one teaspoon of coriander powder guess it's not perfectly cooked fully after all. Guess surprise ingredients keep popping up. Okay, now it's ready. Finally. It was worth the wait. Mmm, check it out. That looks so good. I really can't wait to eat that. Well, hope you guys also make the same meal and enjoy. Make sure to check out our other videos too. Delicious. Thank you for watching. And make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Bye!